Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a very very simple form of AI. Now this AI is simply going to be used as essentially a test dummy. Now it's not going to be a custom character or anything like that, it's simply just going to be the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and that mannequin is going to have some health and later on when we create our projectile abilities, all the damaging stuff for swords and so on, we basically have a target that we can use to hit and then just pretty much kill it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can set up that blueprint for the AI character, drop it into the scene and also set it up with health as well. So it's pretty straightforward and really easy to do. Now probably the easiest way to do it was to just drag in another third person character, however the animation blueprint inside of that is all linked up to the direction and the speed of the character we won't, don't really want to do that. So instead what we're going to do is create a new blueprint class for a character type and then we're simply going to give this the name Simple AI. Now with this loaded up we are going to open it up and all we're going to do is simply chuck in a skeletal mesh and make sure the animation blueprint is all set up. We are just going to be using the default Unreal Engine 4 animation, uh, the default character animation blueprint so I'll show you how to do that. So first things first over at mesh you want to set your skeletal mesh to be the mannequin so just go ahead and type that in um, and again if I can spell it right. And then for the anim class, just go ahead and set this to third person anim BP. And then what you want to do is just drag this down into your little capsule here and just drag it all the way down to the bottom and he should just about fit in there. Now one thing I do want to mention when it comes to doing AI characters, simply put is that we don't want to worry about in inputs for this AI, we don't need any of that and we also don't need a camera or anything like that either. So pretty much all that we should have is pretty much a completely blank event graph for our blueprint for the simple AI, no camera stuff or any of that. Um, what we do need however for this AI is simply going to be a health variable. Now what we're going to be doing with this health variable is simply going to be setting this down each time that it takes damage, um, that's going to be from our projectiles and all that good stuff later on in the series, but what we will do today is just create that variable with the type being float, compile it and then from there we are just going to set this to the default maximum value which in our game is essentially going to be 1. Now if you want your AI to have more health you can just change this health variable it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to do what I'm going to do now then is simply just drag it into the scene here real quick and I'm just going to quickly check to see whether or not it's going to start moving along with the character because we don't really want that. What we should have is simply the character just standing here idling and not really moving at all and as you can see it is doing exactly that at the moment. So as of right now we've got a little test dummy and then when we create our particle effects and our projectiles, our melee combat and all of that good stuff we are going to strike this guy down and he is pretty much going to die off. Now one thing that I am going to do with my AI character real quick is I'm going to create a take damage function inside of this. Now this isn't going to be defining the amount of damage that it takes or how it's going to take that damage, it's simply going to be more sort of just spawning a particle effect so we have a bit of feedback later on in the series when it's taking some damage. So what I'm going to do is going to quickly open up my simple AI character, I'm going to create a new function and then this function is simply going to be called, uh, let's just call it take damage for now and then with this done we are simply going to drag this out and all we're going to do is spawn a particle system so type in spawn emitter at location and then the location is just going to be um, you know where it is the x value um, the easiest way to get this and make sure it's centered is to simply get socket location or not so get socket location get actor location and then with that just set the target to self return value into location and this is going to spawn it. Now what you want to do is go through your infinity blade assets pack and just find like a take damage um, you know effect that you want to use. So have a quick look in your content browser effects and then if we just see what we can find. So have a look, quick look through some of the names here. Um, let's have a look. So meshes, materials, gates, forging, 
combat um no so i don't think we're really going to use any of these uh what i will do however is i am simply just going to use the default explosion effect in there so i'm going to type in explosion and then the one that i'm after is just over here it's p underscore explosion and then what we're going to do later on is we're going to be scaling this to make it look right but without actually being able to make this character take damage we're not going to bother doing that just yet that's going to be something for later on in the series but for now what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you sort of how it looks when it takes damage and how we can call that function so when we do like our begin overlap events for our projectiles we're simply just hooking this up to our take damage and it's going to do that right now if i hook it up to begin play and i have this character directly in front of mine you should be able to see that effect so press play you can see he has that little explosion on him which was kind of cool um, but for now that's pretty much everything for the video we are all set up with our simple you know test dummy essentially um, i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the series i'm really excited to showing you how to get up all your combat stuff your inventory system once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep curating your boy vertus signing out this series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.